Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna and in today's video, we'll be creating an interactive drop down menu in Figma. And if this is something you're interested in, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. I created this particular screen for the purpose of this tutorial. And as you can see, we already have a drop down menu here that we'll be using. So let's just get started. I'm going to duplicate this drop down menu. I'm going to create what will happen Make sure it's the same width and add the border radius too. So what are my options? So this is me creating my options. So as you can see, I already created my options. So what happens when this is clicked? So the first one, this is the default state. I'm going to duplicate this. And when this is clicked, this particular element should change to this. Is the default state so when this is clicked, this is what should happen. So, what should happen when any of this is selected? So, you can actually do this with variable, but with the variable you want to use, you have to have a pro account to do this interaction, which is why. I'm creating it this way. I'm going to do this is make this two, group them together, and make them a frame frame selection. So this is a separate. This is a full frame on its own, not individual frames. This is full frame on its own. So I'm going to select every frame. Select everything. And you're going to come here at the top where this component is create components and you're going to create component sets create component sets so you're creating a set of components so you're going to the next thing is to add interaction so select this go to prototype and the interaction is click right so it's on tap, right? Tap sitting as click. You want this property to change to this property. Yeah. So that's like the right thing. And the next thing you want to ensure is okay. And when this particular element is clicked, you want this to change to this. You want this to change to this. And you want this to change to this if this one was clicked. Now let's say after the options, the person decides to close this. So if this is clicked, it go back to this, right? So if this is what was clicked, you just close up immediately close up immediately paste this so you're going to, I'm going to copy this one and replace it with this place this one with the components so here I have components 1 
going to do is I'm going to play this particular screen. I'm going to come in and play the prototype. If you watched this video to this point, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you next time.